Well, I'm a scientist. And when we try to look at something, we try to quantify it. We try to rank it in terms of levels, give a numerical scale. But when you look at consciousness, you realize that there are over 20,000 papers written on it by theologians and ministers and psychologists. Never in the history of science have so many devoted so much to produce so little. And so being a physicist, I say, well, how would a physicist approach a solar system, an atom? First, we describe the electron in space. That's the first thing we do. Try to understand planets and motions in terms of space. Then we try to understand their relationship to other electrons, other planets, stars, for example, creating solar systems. And then stage three, <clears throat> we go forward in time and we make predictions about the future behavior of planets going around stars. And so when you apply the same methodology to consciousness, you realize that there really are three stages of consciousness. Consciousness that understands our position in space, consciousness which understands our position with respect to other people, emotions, social hierarchy, politeness, etiquette, and third, predicting the future. And so I say that there are three levels of consciousness.